Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about Jamaican engineers. Now, Jamaica has a lot of projects going on, whether it's buildings, whether it's the construction of buildings, the construction of these super highways, or just road construction. Jamaica has a lot going on. Jamaica is expanding, it's progressing. But one of the concerns or the drawbacks is we're not using Jamaican contractors for most of these projects. If you look at all the major road construction, all the superhighways that are being built, foreign companies, well, we can be more specific. China have an engineering company. Don't get me wrong, they get the job done. Sometimes China have engineering company is so stretched that the projects get delayed. Buildings going up, it's foreign companies. A lot of Chinese contractors building buildings. So you have to ask yourself, what is going on? So recently now, there was a, a meeting at Jamaica Institute of Engineers. Now, do you know how many Jamaican engineers are in Jamaica and registered with the J J Jamaica Institute of Engineers? Guess. I'm going to tell you, 862 Jamaican engineers in Jamaica, 862. Now, that's not a lot. A, um, Minister Clark gave a speech recently when he was speaking about this, and that's not enough to meet the development goals for Jamaica. So he gave an example of, say, the UK. They graduate 3,000 engineers a year. A year. Ukraine graduates 9,000 engineers a year. I don't know how much China graduates, but I can imagine it's a lot. And Jamaica has 862 in all, total. So that is one of the reasons why you don't have, it's not the only reason, but it's one of the reasons why the local contractors, one can't get all the projects or two, they can't manage them. They don't have enough engineers in Jamaica. Now there are other reasons, but this is a major one. And this is why Jamaica will have to always bring in foreign companies to do these major construction projects because they don't have enough engineers. So the government is trying to change that, but it's going to take years. It's not going to happen overnight. But that is why the government is investing in STEM and those other educational um, paths, basically, to try and improve it. No, I don't know if it's a case where Jamaica graduates more engineers and they migrate because you always hear about this drain, brain drain. I don't know, but I've always wondered. And this goes beyond engineers now. Jamaica has teachers, very good teachers, and they get a lot of opportunities overseas. So a lot leave. Nothing wrong with that. But why can't we graduate double the amount of teachers so that we have enough to go abroad and enough to stay here? Nurses. Jamaica has very good nurses. They are wanted all over the world because Jamaica is well known in the medical field for doctors and nurses. So this is just an example. Why can't we graduate a hundred nurses a year so that 
50 can migrate all I want to migrate go I'm not telling anybody not to go if you want if you have the opportunity and the means to go away and work do it because those people are going to be sending money back to Jamaica so why can't we graduate a hundred so that the 50 that are going to migrate go and the 50 that are going to stay stay and hold a post in Jamaica engineers we need to graduate more engineers Jamaica is progressing Jamaica is moving forward look at this road this is the road between Harborview and Yalos it is putting the parishes of St. Thomas and Portland on the map the amount of developments that are going to happen because of this road this is a super highway basically it's going to open up the eastern part of the island it's going to be like a gold rush you're going to think people are finding gold over there the way it's opening up and the government is building highways like this across the entire nation the entire country so that's even more development coming 862 engineers cannot do it we need more and as the minister said he said 862 engineers are not enough we need more so the tertiary institutions need to um find a way to to, to graduate more engineers so the government is working on it so i just found it very interesting because i realized when he said it that this is one of the reasons why so many foreign contractors are in jamaica because they come with their engineering team they come with their basically they bring their engineers with them all right guys let me know what you think leave your comments in the section below and for those who um, this is the Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Project. We are actually, the video started driving from Bull Bay to Harbor View. So enjoy the rest of the video and remember to like, share, and subscribe. And this is the largest road project on the way in Jamaica right now. It's the largest construction project on the way in Jamaica right now. All right, guys, thank you. thanks for uh, taking a tour with us today. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and leave your comments in the section below.